Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you've watched my videos before, you'll know I have quite a lot of clothes to my name, but all of it is in storage at the moment, other than what I'm about to show you. So this is my capsule closet that I created. Everything I'm going to show you fits in two suitcases and a rolly carry-on. And I've created so many outfits, comfortable outfits, cozy outfits, workout outfits, and even interview outfits as well. I have just enough formal clothes Thing to make it work for a first interview, a second interview, and maybe like a social event as well, like a lunch or a dinner. So given the fact that I'm not normally a minimalist, I'm quite proud with how all of this has come together. So come on in and I will show you around my closet. And the closet itself is not a minimalist style closet. It's actually a very generously sized um, closet for a Seattle apartment. There's quite a lot of room in here. Um, but that's actually been really neat because it gives me a little bit more space to just see everything and also for this video to show it to you as well. So before I show you section by section, I thought I would take you through the general layout of how I set everything up. So you'll see when I do my full apartment tour that I have a large front coat closet, but I've dedicated that to my felines. So all of my coats live in here along with my other clothing. And then most of my sweater collection is up above on the rack and I've kind of created a little bit of a fun ombre effect with the sweaters and they each have their own spot which is really nice um, so that I can see everything I have really really well which is very key to a minimalist closet I found out um, I feel like when you have more stuff there's just more selection you have to be less creative and so having the ability to see everything I have see all the different colors that are available especially because I do like to have color and so I think that's where this video will differ from a lot of others that you may see on YouTube in that I haven't gone full-on monochrome in creating a pared down wardrobe so there's still a lot of color and fun things to be had here um, so like I said coats this is what I was talking about when I said that I had you know quite a few options to create various different sort of business formal and business casual looks then I have four dresses here um, some of which are more dressy and some of which are less I have silk shirts which I love and then I have the tops that go underneath my suit wear um, which is kind of you know easy to mix and match and very basic with a little bit of jewel tones thrown in then i have my handbag collection over here on this left hand side these are most of the sweaters that i already have so on the left hand side over here these are all the sweaters that i already had so that i brought with me um, they're ones that i've had for many many years this one is from um saxoff fifth like eight years ago or something crazy like that there's quite a bit of club monaco in there this one and this one is especially and then some Nordstrom collection as well and then these four over here are going to surprise you in that they are all under $50 and I'm not one to usually purchase inexpensive knitwear yarn is just not of a sufficient quality nonetheless in these kind of chunky chenille um, knits I found that you can go a lot more inexpensive because it is a synthetic yarn instead of a natural one and so it's a lot less expensive and then here in the middle I have two Amazon cashmere sweaters which are very chunky and I just didn't want to spend a lot of money on super chunky sweaters because I know it's not going to be something that I wear for much longer with spring on its way it's a beautiful day here actually today on the west coast so it's kind of ephemeral um, for this year and so I just wanted two new sweaters and some pretty colors so I got those and I will link everything that I can find links for that is still available in the info bar down below um, and then over here this is a new burgundy sweater and this is a super old one of the variety that is much more luxe and that's a bit more of a long-term investment talking about long-term investments um, I decided to splurge and get myself some new sheets so that's all the packaging for it which is beautiful um, that I've propped up there on the shelf so we have coats from heaviest to lightest. So far, the ones in the middle are kind of the ones I've worn the most because it's been pretty nice here weather-wise. So I haven't needed as much of a heavy um, warm coat as I thought I would. And it's also not been all that rainy. I still love my Centaur rib coat. I find I get so much wear out of it on the West Coast. It was a really good purchase. And then simple sort of pea coat styles like this one are very, very good purchases for a capsule closet because it works for so many different 
different climates as is a trench coat either a classic one or one with a little bit more of a twist like this Burberry one that I've had for a long time now then of course some comfy cashmere cardigans I have this one and then I have one from my own collection which I'll show you in a moment because it's in the dresser and then for suit wear this dress is such a cheapie but I've gotten so much wear out of it it's from um, White House Black Market and I will link some similar options down below there's no way it's still available but I'm sure they have something similar very happy with the quality of their suit wear a bit more on the splurgy side but still a very good investment is this Eero um, little jacket and it's unlined which means that you don't overheat in it it's boucle it's got a little fringe going on so a little bit of sass but still very classic especially in black and then I have my new suit here which is from Tahari needs a bit of a steam but I've worn it to quite a few interviews so far and I absolutely love it I'm really really happy with this suit I feel very comfortable very confident in it it's really a good option if you're looking for something that is you know definitely on the luxury side but not super expensive less expensive than even theory and then a nice little cheap that I got is this really pretty classic Chanel-esque Zara blazer. I love the emerald green. I think it's interesting, but it's not, you know, too out there for interview type suit wear. And then I have a bunch of fun dresses. I have a pretty velvet one, um, so something warmer and something cooler, and a floral and a velvet, so nice textures going on there. You guys know I love green for when the weather gets a little bit better. I have this one, which I can layer up with a cardigan, like a nice black cardigan. And then I have this Eliza a J cable knit dress as well. You need a good sweater dress in any capsule closet in my opinion. And then I have two silk shirts. One is more casual, the other more dressy. This is the more dressy one because it has a lot of sheen to it. And then this one is from Rag and Bone. It's very wrinkled. It also needs a steam, but it's also very pretty. But it's also very pretty with a floral pattern. Again, I think just because you're doing more of a minimalist approach doesn't mean that you have to wear all black and you can't have any prints. These two are very versatile. They look good with black pants under a suit or with jeans as well for a nice dinner and then all of this is meant to go with the suit wear so this could be a good outfit with a pair of black trousers or this underneath a suit really pretty little burgundy shell and then I have two little black shells as well which I will link down below then over here I have my handbag corner and for you know a capsule closet that's definitely a lot more handbags than you would need but I brought them with me because I had them and I don't like to be parted from them so I have my Louis Vuitton good old Galliera bag it has survived so much it's got the beautiful patina going on now the YSL Lulu I highly recommend I've gotten so much wear out of that bag it really does fit a ton then I have my Chanel medallion my new YSL I have my Chanel flap I've had this bag for years it's one of my favorite going out bags and then I like to keep a little jewelry train this closet because I do kind of tend to get changed in here so anything that I'm wearing that I want to take off when I get home um, before I put my hair in a bun and put my sweats on when I will just leave here. So I have my lapis lazuli and dove gray pearl hoop earrings here. So this is the Gem Elixir line. I absolutely am loving these. They're so comfortable and I love um, having anything with blues. So I'm wearing the sapphire today um, but there's also the lapis lazuli at a slightly lower price point and a kind of darker more cobalty blue tone rather than the more classic navy of sapphires something like this that is more like a statement jewelry piece goes with so many different jewel toned outfits and immediately adds a lot of interest so that you can kind of mix and match your outfits even more and just change your jewelry up so I've got my rose gold pearls with garnet here as well um, which is a lovely combination if you're doing like a burgundy outfit I really love um, this particular color combo and these ones are Spanx and they are unbelievably comfortable. They have pockets at the back so they don't look too much like leggings. If you're wearing a long top or sweater, it still looks pretty business casual appropriate. I've been loving those. Then I have my leather leggings, which are from Commando, and I'm so happy with them because they're fully lined. So they're very comfortable and they don't feel like wearing, you know, like what it would feel like if you were wearing leather pants normally. Um, I don't know why that pipe is in this closet. It's sort of an eyesore, but ignore that. I have three pairs of jeans other than the one that I'm wearing, and they are either frame or mother, which are just really easy, nice, polished looking jeans. And so I have three tones, very dark, light, and medium. 
And then in this dresser, I have lingerie here and pajamas. In this drawer, I have all of my classic color knitwear, so grays and beiges, which I tend to reach for a lot. And then, of course, I have my Nouvelle Apparel designated drawer. So I have my beautiful Bombay Sapphire scarf, my taupe, my evergreen, and my olive martini scarf. And then I've got my uh, Nouvelle Apparel black cardigan as well, which is awesome for mixing and matching with different um, little tops and dresses to kind of make it cozy and take me through um, the end of the winter season and into spring and then over here I've got a tangle of Lululemon um, workout wear and then just at the bottom here I just have miscellaneous items t-shirts and uh, bathing suits in there as well on the floor from left to right I have my workout sneakers ready to go I've been trying to get back into working out my pile of suitcases so that is what all of this um, came in when I arrived pretty much other than a couple of new pairs of shoes so I'll take you through what those are those flats I came with but this pair of boots here is new these are Aquitalia and I wanted something a little bit flatter because these have a high heel um, so again kind of for walking especially walking in the rain since they are weatherproof then I have more Aquatalia booties. This is a more affordable brand that does weatherproof booties and those ones are more of a shorter block heel. These Neiman Marcus leopard print high heels are still available and if they are I will link them because I've been loving them and they're actually very comfortable despite how high they are. Those have been my interview pumps. I've been absolutely loving them. I'm very happy with Neiman Marcus price to quality ratio for shoes. It's my first time actually having shoes from them from their own brand and they're awesome. Then I have four new pairs of shoes. Yes, four. Like I said, I've been doing a lot of walking and I got horrible blisters on the back of my feet um, from just wearing really cheap socks um, with my boots. And so I had these horrible blisters. So I got three pairs of backless shoes, which I thought would be good as I went into spring anyway. So all of them were really affordable. These ones are what I like to call fochi um, loafers. So they are actually orthopedic shoes, but they're really really cute and they're so comfortable because the built-in insert on the inside is shaped like a foot so it's just so comfy. I've walked for them for hours and the light gray looks really nice with my scent alert coat so it creates quite a nice look. Then I have these Cole Haan um, alligator print or embossed um, pointy ones which are a little bit dressier. Over here, these are actually a block heel from um, Clark's collection, which is their more high-end collection. So they have a patent heel and they're also very cushioned on the inside and very comfy and soft on the inside as well. So if you're prone to blisters, they're really an awesome option and they're still dressy enough so that if I know I'm walking a lot um, for you know more of a dressy or interview type situation, I can wear these as opposed to those um, and kind of switch them out as well so that I don't wear down my feet too much. And then over here, these are actually Tory Burch, and I loved um, the horse detailing on them with the gold buckle. I thought they were really pretty and designer looking, and I love anything in cognac leather. So I got these at Nordstrom Rack, and I'll see if they're still available online for you because they've been a very good walking shoe as well. So this is my capsule closet. I hope you enjoyed having a little walk around. It's nice to be able to have everything on display and share with you everything that I have with me, so that way when I start to do outfits of the day you have a general idea of what was available to me in creating those looks so like I said everything will be linked down below and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next installment on style bye